Number 48. For each value, are the reactants or products favored at equilibrium? So you're given four values. Now, uh, two of them are the equilibrium constant values and the other two are the enthalpies of reaction. So the equilibrium constants tell you whether the reactants or products are favored. If the equilibrium constant is greater than one, then the products are favored. The reaction forms more products uh, when it's finished. So you can kind of think of the reaction as, uh, you know, not going to completion, but if the equilibrium constant is greater than one, then at the end of the reaction, you'll have more products than reactants. If the equilibrium constant is less than one, then the reactants are favored. And if it equals one, then neither the reactants nor the products are favored. You'll have roughly equal amounts. The enthalpy changes can also be used. If the enthalpy change is negative, then the products will be favored. If it's positive, the reactants are favored. And if it equals zero, again, neither reactants nor products are favored. So just keep in mind these. You should uh, memorize all of these cases. So for A, the equilibrium constant is 5.2 times 10 to the minus 6. Well, that's going to be much less than 1. And uh, the reactants would be favored in this case. So a chemical reaction with this equilibrium constant would hardly form any products at all because its equilibrium constant is less than one. For B, uh, if the enthalpy change is positive 16 kilocalories per mole, so if you have an endothermic reaction, then also the reactants would be favored. You would not form that many products. For C and D, the products are going to be favored. C, the equilibrium constant is 10,000 or 10 to the fourth. That's pretty large. And most of the reactants would convert into products. The products would be favored. And also for D, the reaction is exothermic. The enthalpy change is negative 21 kilocalories per mole. So uh, again, the products would be favored. 